So, it's date night, and you're looking at the menu, and you have no idea how to pronounce the wines on there. Hello sir, what can I get you? Any drinks for you? Hi, um, could I get the, um... <laughs> Let's be real, we've all been there. Sorry, um, could I... The... Cogn... Cognac? Cognac? Please mind the gap between the train and the platform. Hello everyone, it's Andrew and welcome back to another video. We have a very special guest. Her name is Sabratha and she is my wonderful, beautiful, inspirational sister. Thank you so much for being on my channel. Thank and, you, I'm uh, very excited to be here. Yeah. Do you want to introduce yourself to the viewers? Hi, I'm Sabratha. I'm trained as a primary school teacher and I make grammar videos. So she's also a YouTuber, so we'll put in all the links to her YouTube account in the description below at the end of this video. But this video is all about various drinks, wines and alcohols that you'll find in restaurants everywhere in London and in England. But these wines are extremely difficult to pronounce. I can admit that I struggle with these, right? The thing to remember, I think, is when you do pronounce these words properly, then you just come across as a bit more well-informed and certainly commands the respect of the people around you if you want to make that good impression. Especially on like a date. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> on a date. You don't want to be pronouncing wrong wine names on a date. Absolutely. There's also one thing that we wanted to highlight and that's the fact that we were not native French speakers. No. So a lot of these wines and drinks do originate in France and there is the French pronunciation and an anglicised version. Do you want to explain that a, bit, a little bit further? Absolutely. The English language is really flavoured with words and influences from other countries. Um, England and Britain, the UK has this, this rich history of having outside influences in their language and this is particularly demonstrated when you have certain products that come in from outside of the UK, um, especially uh, these imported drinks uh, and wines. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. So the first drink that we want to introduce you to is Stella Artois. Fantastic. So let's put this spelling up on the screen. A lot of people will pronounce this as Artois because you do have the S at the end, right? Absolutely. And in especially with the French language, the S on the end is silent. So it's Stella Artois. Sounds really nice. Stella Artois. Yes. And where do you where would you find Stella Artois? Stella Artois is a beer. It's the kind of drink that you can take anywhere with you. You can take it to a barbecue, but at the same time you can order it down the local pub. And if you just wanted to have a pint of beer at home when you're entertaining guests, that's also okay. So we've got a beer, right? And we've just learned how to pronounce a beer. And what about any wines or drinks for celebrations? Then definitely the first on the list for celebratory wines or drinks would be a champagne. Okay. We pop open the champagne is a classic for when you're celebrating any kind of achievement. You hear the champagne pop there. Champagne. Champagne. Don't be fooled by the G in there. The G is not pronounced. So it's called champagne. Let's try something harder. So a similar one is Prosecco. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. And this is what Prosecco looks like. This is a wine of Italy that I've got in my hand and it says it's 11% uh, volume. The thing with Prosecco is usually when you have the two C's together, they make the sound CH, as in cappuccino. However, Prosecco is the exception to this rule. Yes, that's really good to know. And can we think of any other words with double C in? So Usually in the yeah. names, Italian names. Yeah, in Italian names, we're just thinking that like, there's Gucci, which is a fashion brand. And, and Carluccio's, which is the Italian food uh, chain. Mm. So you've got the double C and that's a ch sound, right? So the next one is a type of wine 
And you know, there are three types of wines. There are white wines, there are red wines, and there's also something resembling a flower. <laughs> It's not a rose, is it? <laughs> no, it's pronounced rosé. Rosé. Rosé wines. So the next one is a brandy from a French town called Cognac. Now this is another example where the G is not pronounced, so it's not pronounced cognac, but cognac. Cognac, interesting. As if there's a Y sound in there.、Mm -hmm. So the next one is a selection of white wines,、mm -hmm. uh, which is usually accompanied by the word blanc on the end. And you know, you guys might actually think that this one is pronounced blank because it does end in a C. That's right, but it's actually originating、uh, from France, so that the word blanc means white. So the first white wine that we've got is Pinot Blanc, Chenin Blanc, and the third one is Sauvignon Blanc. That's right. So let's just take a look at the spelling of the last one. You've got S A U V. I G N O N. Again, again, the G is not pronounced. You were saying how it pronounce. It's also pronounced kind of like a Y in the English language. Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon, and it's the N at the end, which is also a different sound to the English language. Which it's not Sauvignon, not it's not non. Sauvignon. No, Sauvignon. See, even I got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Sauvignon. Sauvignon. So imagine coming to a restaurant and going. I want a merlot. <laughs> I want a merlot. Yeah, literally. You just or like asking, like... or like asking for shoes. Which is,、uh, uh, look at my Louboutins. Yeah. Louboutins. <laughs> 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 What other funny ones are there? I'm just trying to think. There's like... lab, la, is la Boutin.、Right? La Boutin. Okay. Is la Boutin. There's so many which like I um I just get wrong all the time. Yeah. And it's it's one of those things because like because people are embarrassed. Yes. People just refrain from saying it at all. Yes, and actually, what the whole point of this video is, we want to improve your confidence, you know. And if you practice it in, in your bedroom mirror,、um, hopefully, we can actually get you more confident in social settings. Yes, and don't get me wrong, there's also an element of not wanting to offend anyone. So I think when you butcher, yes, as a, I'm just really like, <laughs> well, I have to be honest, <laughs> I'm sorry if like I've butchered some of these pronunciations oh, yeah, in this video.、Um, But that is because we are not French speakers. Yeah.、Um, so、uh, the thing where a lot of people pronounce some of these words wrong all the time, and you know they just carry it off really nicely. Also links with our theme of love your identity. And where is that line between getting it right,、mm. but standing up and saying, "Well, I do say it like this,"、mm. and a, a lot of British people pronounce it like this, and it it's okay. Yeah. So at the end of the day, you know, just. Go, kind of go with your gut and go with what you're com comfortable with, but、uh, I like that idea of practicing in the mirror so that in the certain certain social settings, when you know that you do need to say it right, you know how. The next one is Chardonnay. Chardonnay. It's not Chardonnay. No, the ch makes your a sh sound.、Strange、That's interesting because, for example, in the word church, it's, it's not it's not sh sh is it right? No. <laughs> so. Again, that foreign influence there.、Mm. So the next one is Shiraz. Can you guess the next one? <laughs> these these has so many vowels and like X's in it. It just looks a bit confusing, doesn't it? Go on. How would you pronounce it? Bordeaux. So how would you pronounce this one, guys? Pinot Gris. Pinot Gris. So the T is actually silent here. It just ends in the Pinot. O. Pinot. Pinot Gris. And you know we really want you to get out there, try ordering these for yourself, and it might be a little bit scary initially, but... but then you'll get the hang of it, and eventually, when you do build up your confidence, you won't even realise how good you are. It all starts with a first step. Definitely, and we do hope you enjoyed this video, and with my special guest.、Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. No worries at all. We also made a fun video on her channel, which is called.、Oh. <laughs> you don't even know what your channel is called, bro. <laughs> it's because I'm going through a rebranding at the moment, so it's called Upper Learning Resources. Head over to my channel, guys. I make videos on grammar, punctuation, and spelling. You can also get worksheets where you can try out some questions to also build up your confidence. Her channel is absolutely fantastic. So go head、Thank、over、you. and subscribe. 
And we wanted to leave you with one last message. And that is to love your identity. And I'll see you in next week's video on Thursday at 5 p.m. GMT. Until next time, guys. Cheerio. The one that I kind of mentioned at the start of the video, daiquiri, oh, is yeah. pronounced. <laughs> so daiquiri is pronounced. Daiquiri. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Da you went daiquiri. Uh, I, I, I was saying daiquiri. Yeah, that's it? it. But it's actually pronounced daiquiri. Daiquiri, yeah.